Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the Little Giant Velocity Ladder. This is a multi-position ladder. I have the 22 foot version. They also make this in a 13, 17, and 26 foot. So I'm gonna show you how this works, what it can do, and what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So what I'm talking about in a multi-position ladder, what that means is this can be a step ladder like this, and you can actually walk on both sides unlike a regular step ladder. It can work as an extension ladder as well if you straighten the whole thing out. You can even set these legs at different heights, so if you're on stairs or something, you have a safe level position to work on using your ladder. So this is a very versatile ladder, uh, and you can also take these two apart. If you buy the extensions for this, you can make a scaffolding out of it as well with the two separate A-frames. Also be set up in what Little Giant calls 90 degree mode, which lets you get a lot closer to a wall while still in step ladder mode. So this is very versatile. If you're looking at one ladder as a homeowner, this is probably the type to get it. it is a little bit heavier, but that's really the only downside to it. So Little Giant has done an awesome job engineering this mechanism for raising and lowering the legs. The way it works is you just turn it a quarter turn, either way, then raise or lower your ladder, and you don't even have to wait until it's there. If you think you're close, you can turn these and it'll pop into place afterwards when you get to that point. Even though there's a little lip around here, it'll still ride up over that and pop into the peg where it needs to go. My old Werner ladder had little mechanisms you had to pull out, turn sideways, let go, adjust, pull it out, turn it back sideways, and you had to get it lined up or it wouldn't snap into place with these. This one is so much better, so much easier to use. This mechanism here at the top is what keeps it locked into position. There are two metal pegs here, uh, as well as all these parts are metal right here. These are just plastic spacers to get it to the right width to fit into the aluminum tube. And it's riveted in place here with three different rivets on each side. So to adjust, you push this in, it's spring loaded, it'll stay in that position until you rotate it to the next stop. So the next stop for this case would be either closed all the way or open 180 degrees. If you're going to store it, you just go like this and it pops into place. These are sturdy glass filled nylon brackets riveted to the frame with plastic wheels. You do have to tilt it pretty far to run with it, uh, but it's got great performance on grass even and on concrete. Every surface I use these on, these did just fine. These leg levelers that come as an option when you buy it are awesome. So basically, if you don't have good contact with the ground when you set this up, you just step on that corner and it puts it at the perfect height. To release it, you just pull this lever and it pops right back up. So this is absolutely awesome. It's spring-loaded, automatically retracts. These things will level up to, I believe, seven inches. And then it's got a hard stop right there. Pretty much this whole ladder is made out of aluminum, at least all the structural parts are. This plastic cap right here is just covering up the welded portion between the ladder leg and the rung right here. So all the rungs are welded on. Uh, these aluminum ones on the inside are, you see there's a cutout for each of these that they go into. Um, so overall, great sturdy ladder design. I really like the texture they have in these legs too. It's a really aggressive tread, uh, so you're not gonna be slipping on the top of these. The feet on these are nice and wide. They're angled so they sit flat. They're riveted onto the ladder itself. Uh, and it's, it's not rubber, but it's a softer plastic and it's got some texture on the bottom to help it grip. This does have a nice wide base at the bottom. It is 26 inches wide, so it's got a lot of stability when it's in extension mode. Little Giant rates these ladders as 22 foot or whatever on maximum reach. So the actual highest rung that you're supposed to stand on is the third highest rung. That's 16 feet tall from the base of this one when in extension mode. The overall ladder reaches end to end right around 19 feet overall. So you don't wanna to try to stand up the whole ladder when it's extended all the way like it is right now. You actually wanna collapse the bottom first and then push it up like a regular extension ladder as you have it stood up against the wall. So. The easiest thing to do, remember, keep the wheels at the top. The leg levelers always go at the bottom. So that's the way you need to do it. So extend the top as high as you want it to start with and then work on the bottom. Now this is a lot of ladder, at least with the 22 foot version. Uh, so when you're the last few rungs in extension mode, it is a bit of a challenge to get it all the way up there. Uh, it's a lot of weight that you're picking up a little bit by little bit and pushing it overhead. It's not just the weight too, it's the stabilization required while you're lifting that weight. Little Giant offers a ton of accessories that go with this ladder too. There's the cargo hold and the work platform, which I got. There's also a work tray that clips on in the same manner this does, as well as a ladder holder that you can mount to your wall. So I really like this aluminum work platform that they have. 
you basically put it up against a rung, swing it over top of another one, and pull it out and it holds on like that. When you're climbing up the ladder, you actually push it in like this, step on the work platform, and then when you're above it on a step above it, you kick it back out and it's really sturdy. It's got a lip that catches the inside of the rungs right here. The design on this is really awesome. It's just two aluminum weldments. It's got friction, uh, low friction strips on either side of this so it can slide over top of that rung. It's got nylon washers spaced in between here and lock nuts on this side so they're not gonna back off. Uh, it's just aluminum welded right here and then all of this platform is welded aluminum as well. Uh, so the welds look sturdy, this is a really good design, and it really gives you a lot more stability when you're on the ladder. I love this platform, I'm really glad I bought it. Another really nice thing about this work platform is it stores in the ladder when you're not using it, so you just put it right here. As long as it's below this aluminum welded cross piece, you can close the whole thing up. And there it goes. You don't need to find an extra space to store it because it stores integral with the ladder. The cargo hold up top here is its own little work bag that comes out of the ladder and it fits down in that top spot uh, where you normally can't put anything. And it lets you set things like tools. We've got a tape measure and an Allen key set in here. It's got five elastic loops on either side for screwdriver-like tools that have a long shank that will fit in that elastic. Uh, it's got a little divider here in the bottom. You've got grab handles at the top. These that grab onto the ladder are, are powder coated steel and they are riveted to the bag. I believe it's a 1680D uh, nylon fabric. You've got a loop to clip stuff here too, an outside pocket, another outside pocket on this side. But overall, I really like this. It adds a lot of stability. If you've got a drill up on the ladder and you're not wearing a tool belt and you just need somewhere to put it and you don't want it to come crashing down, this is a great option. Same with screwdrivers, things like that. You've only got so many pockets and if you forgot your tool belt or are working without a tool belt, this is a great solution. I think the only complaint I have about this ladder is sometimes when you're bringing the rungs back down, they will catch on this aluminum bar right here and they won't go farther down until you actually kind of lift it and push a little bit and then help it over that. So that happens about 50% of the time when I'm lowering this, it'll get caught up on that cross piece right here. And it's just a little bit extra that you have to do to get it to go back down, but it's a minor annoyance. I think the only other gripe I have about this ladder is these tension members right here that are supposed to keep the outer ladder shell from spreading apart. Uh, they're easy to grab by accident uh, and bend, which they're not designed to be bent. Uh, so you just have to be a little bit careful around these and make sure you don't grab them or put any extra loads on them. These are just to keep these outer bars from spreading open. It's, it's good design in tension, but not for uh, bending. So overall, I think this is a fantastic ladder. I absolutely love mine. I'm really glad I bought it. Uh, at first, I was a little bit worried. I, I got too big of a ladder. I, I went from a Werner 17 foot to this one. Uh, extension mode is actually, I recommend if you've got a, a 10 foot ceiling inside in a one story house, you want at least the 22 foot version. If you've got a two story house, you probably want the 26 foot version because I actually feel secure getting on my roof now and I didn't with a 17 foot version. So this makes it, it takes a lot of the sketchiness out of getting on your roof if you have a nice sturdy ladder that you can level the legs with uh, and keep it very stable. The extra features this thing has, like the wheels at the base and the leg levelers, make it absolutely worth it. Uh, the leg levelers are one of my favorite things about this because when you're outside, you don't want to go find a two by four or something, some unsafe method to prop it up if you're on unlevel ground. The leg levelers make a huge difference in safety. So overall, I highly recommend this ladder. I think having the leg levelers on it alone is the best feature it's got. Uh, I would not skimp on these and get the regular version. I'd get the one with the leg levelers.